Hey everyone, the Carmelia one here. We're gonna go ahead and start part six, I believe. We're gonna go ahead and come up here and Yep, we have a rival battle. I trained my Pokemon and okay to an okay level. Okay, if you have an electric type, go ahead and send out uh, your electric type. Because he already starts with PGO2 and I'm no idea what I'm talking about at this point. Oh well. It's the morning, so yeah. See, KK handled that easily. Right attack. Go ahead and send out King. Because of course a fighting type will be. No, let's just say I don't have a fighting type with me because I don't really want to keep making on my team. But King does know a fighting move, double kick, which is very handy. See, one move KO, two hits though. Now Abra, you can just go ahead and send out anyone you want that you want experience on, because all it knows is teleport and it can't really attack you at all. It doesn't become an, well, a threat until the second rival, well, next rival battle. Just say that much. And now he's gonna set up Squirtle. Go ahead and switch back to Pikachu. Now his Squirtle, um, it's a level 18. It's not really that big of a deal. It does have some good um, defense, but if it would actually just only do that, like, um, see, if it doesn't attack you, you're okay. But it attacks, and it's pretty much the uh, critical hit not good. I'm gonna go ahead and send up King, since it is pretty strong. At this point, I'm hoping that its defense isn't too high. There we go. Even the lower level Pokemon, you can still take it out pretty easily. Level 18. Awesome. Poison Sting. Might as well, until it gets a better poison move. Go ahead and get rid of Leer. Yeah, he's talking about how he got a bunch of um, pages in his Pokedex filled from Bill, but oh well, we're not going for completion sake. Now we're doing it. What? Why I ought to punch you in the face? Get back here. Come back here. Gonna stick my Charmander on you. Go ahead and heal up. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and say this much. We may not get as much in this done in this video that I wanted to, but because I don't really feel like speeding through Nugget Bridge and I'm gonna go ahead and show the battles and everything. Yeah. <sighs> the sound is still off. I uh, hope I can get that fixed soon. I already got up to part 12 recorded. So, I don't know. And I pretty much, at this point, I got my team decided, trained up, and I'm about to get my last party member pretty soon. Well, not that soon, but still. And if anyone has an idea of what I can nickname my Charmeleon, or 
Charizard. You can go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I have some ideas, but... Yeah. I have one idea, and if no one else can think of something, then I'm gonna go ahead and just name it that. I'll say this much, if it was a girl, I could have named it Blaze, as in other words, Blaze the Cat, you know, Sonic and everything. <clears throat> but it's not, so I'm gonna have to think of something else. Pretty much all you gotta do is fight all these battles, they're not hard at all, it's pretty much just an easy way to train. Especially if they have Pidgeys. Some people start off with, like, pick Pidgey for their flying type, but, eh. I used to, just to get the evolution in Pokedex and everything. Because, well, when I first got the game, I really wanted to try to get every Pokemon. I didn't realize I had to try to get Mew. Let's just say when I finally got Mewtwo, uh, three legendaries, dang it, some people might already know, I'm not going to say the names or anything, but three certain legendaries, to get all of them and everything, and of course all the other Pokemon, <coughs> and I couldn't get Mew, I was like, now how do I get Mew again, thinking, thinking, but the thing is, in this game, with, well, if you get it at the time, there's different Nintendo events, which would have got you different Pokemon. Uh, and I think there was one that you could have got you at. I don't know. There's a way you can get Mew in Pokemon Yellow, but that's the only way I know how you can get Mew. Someone I know from Pokemon Pearl, they somehow got Mew randomly when walking in the middle of uh, one of the Towns or something. No idea why I use the double kick. I guess I just want to get some damage on it because it does do somewhat of something. So I'm poison sting, hoping to poison it. It didn't work. Poison. No, I'll take it. Yeah, pretty much Pokemon critical hits, poison, paralysis, well, and occasionally sleep if you have a Shroomish, which is a different game. It's pretty much all dependent on luck, percent, and if you're doing a Let's Play. Or even a playthrough for that matter. Stop spamming defense curl! We get it! Get it, you don't want to die, but you're not gonna get my point. I'm not even gonna try to catch one of you. No, I'm not gonna try. Die. Okay. Mm, do we finish up the neck bridge in this video? Uh, probably won't. Ekans backwards is snake. 